Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell, and we're gonna go retro today. So what I have here is a blast from the past. This is a Performance Center 945 pistol, guys. They don't make this anymore, but what basically this is the evolution of the 4506 single action, double action, third generation pistol. It's, and the Performance Center team modified it into a single action only. So with that in mind, I'll give you a little detail on what's going on and what separates it from, from a 1911 pistol. One thing I like about it, it has an extreme amount of lock time. So when you see the slide reciprocate until the barrel starts to fall, it stays locked. So it makes for a really super accurate pistol. It also lessens the recoil probably 30%, just that lock time. It also has a match grade spherical bushing in the front. It's a hand fitted slide frame. It's got adjustable sights on it, a checkered front strap. This is probably one of the most unique 45 caliber pistols in the aspect. And what made this gun famous is I've got some fired cases here. I'm going to load the magazine with five empty cases. The 4506 service pistol was famous for this, and this handgun uses the same magazine, same barrel arrangement. So, give you an idea, I've got five empty cartridges here. Take the pistol and cycle it, and you see. Try that with your 1911, guys. Out of the factory, feeds empty cases. So, if you have anything for a projectile on the front, odds are it's going to go into the chamber and you're going to fire and you're going to have a good day. And the reason for that is it uses the same magazine, which is the heart and soul of a pistol, of the 4506 service gun. All they did is add another cut to fit the thumb release, the magazine, the magazine release on the 945. So, very nice, very, uh, let me see if I can say this, expertly crafted single action only 45 pistol I've ever fired. So, we're going to go ahead and load it up. That kind of shows my age. I think they haven't made these in probably about 10 years. So I've shot it at demos when they were in manufacture. It's really a fine gun. Let's go ahead and put six rounds in it and go ahead and light up that target in the middle because the target looks lonely. Here we go, guys, target in the middle, six rounds of ball. Here we go. Wow, first one got away from me. We, we got back on target. So that was six rounds on target. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and empty it out. We empty it. Let's go ahead and put six more in it and take it left to right. And that's what this, the Performance Center is all about, guys. They take a standard production gun and they turn it into a one of a kind. And this gun has features, as far as a single stack goes, that no other 45 caliber handgun has. All right, let's take a run at them again, left to right, two on each. All right, here we go. Oh, got one right on the edge there on the last one. So that was six on target. And we did that right in about nine tenths of a second, guys. So easy gun to shoot. Pretty much feeds anything out of the magazine. Everybody ought to have one in their toolbox. Hey guys, just to give you an idea of some differences of the 945 compared to a standard 1911, what I have here is a Colt Gold Cup. It's a national match pistol. It's a representation of what a 1911 is. Uh, the 945, first thing you know, it has an external extractor. Uh, that's something John Browning went to on the Browning High Power, the 9mm pistol. Later on through his development, uh, realized external extractors are really a good thing. And what's good about an external extractor, they're easy to tune and they're easy to do maintenance on. So it's also easier to produce, which is a win-win for the uh, manufacturers. So you're looking at the 945 has a considerable a bit more lock time on the barrel. And what that does for the shooter, lock time means the slide stays locked to the barrel longer. So the gun feels like it's going to actually shoot softer, even though it's shooting the same power ammunition. The downside of it is it's a true target gun. So might not work in the, in the rigors of a lot of dirt, a lot of sand or whatever. But as a target gun, it rate, it'll, it'll rate supreme over a gun with less lock time. So also the 945 has a matched fitted spherical bushing. This is a titanium nitride fitted bushing. It's a hand fitted slide and frame. Standard magazine is eight rounds. So it, it's an eight and uh, eight in one, nine round capacity standard. It's a true single action pistol. 
function just like the standard 1911s, except the feed angle to the, to the chamber is a little bit different coming out of this 4506 magazine, which we, we demonstrated with uh, the capability of, of actually loading empty cases into the chamber. So kind of unique. 1911s have been around for a long time. This one has a link design, which means when the barrel reciprocates, a link actually pulls the barrel out of the locked position. On the Smith & Wessons, they have a cam underneath the barrel. There's a camming surface. So when the slide reciprocates, the cam engages the frame, and then the barrel reciprocates down and allows the slide to, to follow to the rear. So different way of unlocking. It's a little bit harder to tune than a 1911 in that aspect, but when you set up the manufacturer, and once you get them set, it's easy to make them very consistent that way. So the 945s vary a little bit in that uh, feature, but uh, other than that, it's a great functioning, a very accurate pistol.